Hey, all my loyal subjects, it's me, Princess Swordheart the Gamer Queen here. Back with another Let's Play. This time being Bug Snacks, the Isle of Big Snacks DLC. But yeah, I am so excited to be getting back into Bug Snacks here on the channel almost after two years. Because this, this Let's Play is really special to me because. For all you guys out there who don't know, Bug Snacks was one of my first Let's Play series that got over a thousand views here on the channel. I really thank all of the support you guys gave on this Let's Play series. It was awesome to do. But I'm really hyped up to be doing the DLC for all you guys out there here on the channel. But alright, so before we get right into Back into Bug Snacks, I'm aiming for a goal of 5,000 subscribers here on the channel. As currently, YouTube analytics have shown that a ton of you guys out there watch my videos has not subscribed yet, and that is crazy. Because if you're new to the channel and want to see more awesome content like this here on the channel in the future, make sure to smash that subscribe button below to join my Kingdom of Heroes for more awesome content here on the channel in the future. But to all of us, also help us reach that next goal soon. As we're almost halfway there towards 5,000 subs- well, towards 4,000 subscribers actually, but alright. So without further ado, it is time to get right back into Bug Snacks. Oh my god, it's been so long! Because I'm, I'm sad I missed it as soon as it came out, but you know, I knew I would be back at the right time to play it. All right, so to be able to access the DLC, we're gonna want to head back to Snacksburg and talk to Snorpy. That is weird. I don't remember being in Simmering Split. That ah, springs the last time I played this. Huh? Hmm? Uh, sorry, you guys. Sorry if you hear noise in the background. Just some guards doing work around the castle. Alright. Oh, all the little- all the grumpuses! Oh my god! So much has changed! Naxburg! <gasps> the mailbox! Hey there! Hey, Gramble! Wiggle! Hello, everyone! Hey, buddy! Philbo! Philbo! Right, let's follow Philbo! <clears throat> and... It's with the Isle of Big Snacks DLC... Was gone most of the time, so if we can finally get our own hut! Sure give her something that wasn't too important, we just leave it in here! Aw, how sweet! Job, I'm sure we can do the same with you! Beats waking us up in the middle of the night, right? <laughs> yeah, definitely true there, Philbo. And what's this? I think you might have a letter My right God. now. Go ahead and check. Is it from you, Philbo? Already tell. Dear buddy, that's you. Oh Thanks my God. For me back home. And also oh, yay! Of starvation. Happy to help, I Philbo. I be staying in Snacksburg for a while. You might need some basics. Here's a care package with everything I could scrape together. I hope you find yourself at home soon. Best wishes, XOXO. Hugs and kisses. Aw, that's well, sweet. What do you think? Were you reading Sorry, that over my shoulder? Because I, be I do wonder it. that. But, um, I guess hey, it's all cool. Of leaving a letter. Uh, yeah. But very nice touch. But where are we going to keep Great this question, stuff? Buddy. And that leads me to part two of Operation Gift Buddies. This way. I'm so excited. I was thinking you could keep all your new gifts in your very own hut. I know it's kind of a fixer upper right now, but hey, at least it's open plan, right? Right. <laughs> it's all cool, Phil, though. Anyway, uh, this hut really was meant for you, and I know we're gonna finish it someday. Right. So keep checking your mail, do some redecorating, and before you know it, this will feel like Aww, home. Aww, how sweet. 
Alright. But if anything, I think you guys remember that I did do... Well... I did do the end of the game before. Because this is before the point of no return. Right. Wimbiz! It's good to be home, stranger. Feels like a fresh start. If you're ever fixing to grow a farm yourself, here's something that'll help. Wimbiz. Hey bestie, thanks for convincing me to come back. I forgot how nice it is to have a real bed, lol. Since I'm not camping out anymore, you can borrow my old sleeping bag if you want. Really? Befica. Thank you again for helping me and my little ones get to a better home. I'm sending you a lantern in case you also get real scared of the dark. Are we, Joey, Ash we sent their love, Bramble. Mm. Aloha, darling. It looks like we're neighbors now. I hope you'll accept a token of my appreciation for earlier. May this be the light of your life and inspire you the way you inspire me. Oh. Hi there, I thought you might need the stop to help navigate the trickier trails of snack to. You know, it feels kind of weird being back in civilization, but I'm happy for all the same. Feel free to stop by for a chat any time. Trippany. Omnia <laughs> Mart is back in action and it's all thanks to you, pal. You can find close one subscription to Cromdo's Gratitude Plant. Trademark pending. Put it outside to show your friends how much I like you and because I'm such a generous guy. Wow. Cromdo. Bro, thanks for helping me and Snorpy come home. I found a lot of choice wood up on the mountains, so if you ever need me to swap out your paneling, let me know. Shamblo. Ah. Greetings, chum. Have a fine time in Snacksburg, thanks to your efforts. I thought I would give you this random gift of news and foils because it makes for great insulation, not because it blocks a certain lane length of mine beams. Good day to you, Snorpington. As you are aware, I've returned to Snacksburg with your assistant. I've since been cajoled into rewarding your efforts with a welcoming gift. You may have this button that I found. Doofty. In returning from the wake, one overflows with gratitude. Finds lost. In this herbaceous token bring you peace of mind, clarity, and better overall smell. Zelda. Thanks for the help. Thanks for giving me the space I need, and well, for finding me in the first place. Even though I'm up here, I'm still thinking of all of you. Sometimes I look at the picture to brighten my day, and I hope it does the same for you. Aw, Agabelle sent via Philbo. Hi, buddy. Aw. Alright, so it's basically almost every single thing that we did throughout the game itself. That we're getting right now. Ranger, thanks for sticking with me even when I was doomed to fail. Maybe you have a better luck growing a little garden of your own. These days I'm thinking starting fresh really ain't so bad. Why am it? Yeah. Hey bestie, I'm sorry for wrapping you up in all my drama. Aww. I know this doesn't make up for everything, but I want you to have my journal. I think if I could trust anybody with it, it would be the cat. Thanks for having me build up my family. Even if they don't all appreciate it, I sure do. I guess that makes you part of my family too. I made you your own very own strabby hat. So feel, whenever you feel cold or alone, please wear it and think of everybody who loves you. Scramble. Mm. Darling, you're the real star around here. My career may be over, but there's still time for an encore. Aww. We're not sick of music by now. I want you to have my vintage record player. It just might feed your creative spark. Aww. Mm. Hey there. I know things didn't go good with grandma and all, but I want you to know how grateful I am with me. Aww. But times like these, I try to laugh in the face of death. If you want to do the same, then you... Ooh, got a grandpa skull with sunglasses! Well, pal, even if our scheme went south, you still held up a year end. Maybe you'll are a cheap, but I'd pay my dues. Fortunately, all I got left is this crummy old boombox. So just take it, it's not like I'll be needing it anytime soon. Bro, thanks for helping me out with the training and the stump and stuff. Sorry it was a waste of time. You're a lot stronger than me in, like, a metaphorical way. You don't give out trophies for inner strength, so- Oh, how sweet! Hello. 
I want to thank you for helping me conquer the mountain, chum. I'm still doing my best to make it up to town, though. Well, you should find a radio with this letter. If you want to report on the movements of the Grumpinati or anything, Emma said that about me. Give me a call, Sarby. Experiment would have worked. That said, I realize I often been harsh with you in a way that is unproductive. As an apology, you have to draw a snack specimen for your private research. Safety. Well, you know the truth about me. I can't tell if I feel more embarrassed or with you. In the spirit of divesting myself, I want you to have my old crystal. You may not have mystical powers. Maybe this, but it's a nice rock all the same. Ah, Shelsy. <laughs> Hey buddy, thanks for hanging out and telling scary stories. Not the biggest fan of gang spooch, but I'm lucky I've got a friend like you to my courage up. Ah, Grumpy Baby Mirror, his little frog plush. Ah, thanks for calming the crowd, buddy. The others might fight a lot, but I know that we'll all come together when things get tough. Whatever monsters out there, it's no match for our teamwork. <laughs> buddy, you're amazing, and you even got Fluffy and Shelda to come back. Great to see Maxburg so full of life again. You better believe I'm playing another big celebration. Oh yeah. Aw. Wow, you got a good eye, Bessie. You've been scanning so much stuff that even I can't read it all. Not that I'm reading your journal while you sleep. Keep up the good work. <laughs> all right. Well, I'll be, I'll be stranger. You got every kind of sauce that grows. Thanks to you, got plenty of power soon. Just drop by the, so the farm whenever you want sauce. Hey, buddy. All right. But I need your help. I'm strolling through Snacksburg. Oh. Huh? All right. Ah, I know what Gramble's talking about. All right. Balls. All right. Oh, awesome. Hey. Definitely, definitely acing all these quests. Mm. Awesome. Hey, oh yeah. Mm. All right. Neat. All right. Up. Hey, buddy. Space all these out. Just all right, but let's decorate our hut. Even though it doesn't got ooh a palm tree. Start adding some stuff in here. It'll look all nice. Hmm. Group photo of everyone. Such a nice photo. Ooh, record player. I know, because I will be getting around to doing more stuff. Gotta be given time to, you know. Right, but... There it is! Right. Then just... Something knock it down with. Wait a minute. Uh, okay. Bilbo. Oh, darn it.
Uh, chum. Oh, it's Sorby. Of grave importance. Yeah. You see, my seismic readings have been off the charts today, and I fear something terrible is happening just off the coast. Chandler and I are heading oh to Simmering Springs to investigate, and I'd be greatly reassured if you could join us. All right. Let's go. Meet us there whenever you get the chance. In the meantime, we have preparations to make. Chandler! Yay! I'm so excited. But also, I really love Snorpy and Chanlo's relationship in this. I just feel like there's a lot of development just going on with them throughout the whole game. Well, I mean, just when you first run into them and everything, this is really what makes it amazing. Man, I do wonder how I'm gonna get Bilbo's laundry down from there. You know? Right, but oh right. Some of the extra quest. Alright. But pick it up. Storby's concerned about Simon's like readings. He's found off the coast. I'm supposed to be in the rings to assist. Oh but also I noticed that this was new. The fact that now you can fast travel to any part Snack Tooth Island because this wasn't in the original, well, version of the game. So excited! Because I captured all, all 100 snacks and I'm ready to 100% the DLC in this for all you guys out there. But I'm also excited to find some snacks with cats! Alright. Ah, night time and Ah, springs. <laughs> Ooh, a panantula! Alright, sleep till 5 a.m. Uh. Oh, wait a minute. But while we're here, there's something else I want to get. Alright. Springs. Oh, there we go. Baja Taco Roach. And then I'm trying to remember. So then this could draw him out. Got ya! Cockroach. Oh my god. I just love how the noise comes out of the controller. Alright, so then we just gotta feed it to Chanlo. Alright, but first, before we go talk to him, let's head back over here and sleep till noon. Oh, the financial came out of hiding. Well, that is one pineapple spider that did not want to be found. Hello! Oh, yeah! I always wanted to have a beach party. Need me to sunscreen your back, dog? No, no need, Chandlo. I'm well protected. I can tolerate the horrible sun for at least a few minutes. You're so adorable! I could check if you missed a spot. 
<laughs> Best to keep our wits about us. This seismic event could happen any moment. Oh my god! Oh my god! There it is! What was that? They're not usually this intense. An anomaly, to be sure, but it ended surprisingly quick. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god! Ooh! There it is! Isle of Big Snacks. Oh my god. I definitely hope we get another DLC for Bug Snacks. Maybe even a Bug Snacks too, because I feel like with this DLC, it's definitely going to expand upon the story. form a miniature expedition. A gathering of our finest scientific minds. Of course, that means Triffany and Floofty. Oh, get Shelda too. Shelda? Well, she's hardly qualified. But you still. And Shelda's loaded with wisdom. But also, Team definitely the closest thing to a doctor, oh, uh, doctor without Egabel being around. The closest thing we have oh, to see? A doctor without Egabel around. Right. Very well. Tell Triffany, Floofty, and Shelda to come to the beach. Chandler and I will stay here to prepare a way across. Get hype! Yeah! All right, but time to talk to Chandler. Alright, because looks like we ain't gonna be able to feed Chanlo until we complete the whole quest. Because I did want to give him the Baja Taco Roach. Learn stuff later. But alright, let's head back to Snacksburg. Oh. Oh my god. I love how the quest. Just how it's worded with the quest. Is young games definitely does know how to do it up with the humor for their games. needs Walls. yeah it's my bad for not finishing it in the first place though i was gonna have it ready in time for you but then all that stuff right happened. with what happened with lisbon and everything chandlo gets the job done enjoy your walls dog Yo. right Whoa. all right then your mint Mama Melon. All right, from his leg back. Bro. Yeah. Listen up, pal. Oh. Okay. Gotta catch some sodies. Hmm. Ooh. Look awesome. All right, starting to make it look good. Ooh, I have a snack tooth. I definitely can't wait to get the second floor for the hut. It's definitely gonna look amazing once we do. Alright. But, okay, let's find Triffany first and then ask her to help investigate. Nice. Triffany! Wanna join our expedition? I do. Islands don't just pop into being every day, you know. Right. I got no business left here, so I'll go on ahead and meet you on the beach. All right. Round. 
All right. Then Floofty, do you want to join our expedition? Hmm. So an unknown piece of geography has it up yeah. in the ocean, unexplained and unstable, likely to sink again at any moment. Right, but still so something. Of course I'm going. Yay! Yeah. All right. Then let's ask Zelda. What's going on, Weasel? Want to join our expedition? You're me. <clears throat> well, of course. Your need for guidance is great. <laughs> oh, Shelda. One will show you the path. And that scary little island. If it's what I think it is, there's something there I need to see. Really? Yum. Right. Let's head back to Snorpy and Simmering Springs. Mm -mm. Ah, I'm so excited to catch some big snacks. I've been actually thinking about drawing some bug snacks. Cause definitely let me know what you guys think. Cause I would love to try my hand at drawing them. They just have some very interesting shape. Oh, and there it is! The raft to get to... Sister Island of Snatch. Snorpy! Everyone's ready for the expedition! Uh, we're not quite Yeah! Ready. We could use another few days of assessment. What are you talking about, Snorp Dog? We got the raft ready in record time! Let's go get everybody! <sighs> of course, Chandlo. Alrighty! I'm here and ready to explore! Ooh, nice work on that raft there, Chandlo! Thanks right. Aww. If it is not more than a finely crafted tomb for the foolish wanderers. Of course, Snorpington can get volunteers. Well, I mean, Aww. his stuff's but not dangerous, Floofy. has wandered into our expedition. Snacksburg is that way, Shelda. Oh, oh no. Still your wicked tongue. One must show respect to one's elders. I will respect you as soon as you do something respectable. No, oh, you think so highly of yourself that you alone are they who can know the unknowable? No, you bring oh, ruin no. to all that you touch. Ruin to Egabel, ruin to Elizabeth, ruin to your own flesh. And blood. Oh no. I'm starting to think this might not have been the best idea. You know, six folks is a lot for one raft. Maybe one of us ought to stay back home. Well, uh... uh... We're all going. Me and Snorpy can hold it together. Actually, Chandlo, uh, oh. I was thinking you and I should stay here and supervise. What? Bro. Why'd I build all this stuff if we're not going? Don't you want to know what's on the new island? Well, of course I do, but look at that thing. That island is a death trap. Come on, Snorp Dog. It's probably fine. Look, I gotta go out there. They need me. Right. Yes. Somebody needs to caddy the septuagenarian. Shut it. Oh. You can go if you must. Chandler. Wow. But I'm staying here. But bro, we do everything together. What well, I mean, happens to you while I'm gone? If anything, well, I'll be on this lovely beach. What if something happens to you? Yes, yes, you can both be struck by a meteor at any moment. <laughs> Honestly, they do this every time Chen Lo goes to check the moon. Wow. Can we stop wasting time really? and get on with this expedition before I'm as old as Shelda? Hey, mm. don't be mean to her. You two are like mirrors, reflecting endlessly. One must look away from the infinite abyss and gaze down only at oneself. What? Oh. Far be it for me to give anyone life advice, but there's nothing wrong with a little time apart. Right. Healthy even. You mean just giving right. yourself a break from each other. If you all say so. Don't worry. I'll be in radio contact the entire time. And I've got trackers on at least three of you. Wait, why? Okay. Alright. Man, I'm really excited to see the development between the characters in this. Because just, just considering how late 
Thorby, Chandlo, Shelda, Trifony, and Fluti showed up into the game. I'm excited to see just where this all goes for the DLC. Alright, but... Oh, Broken Tooth? That's the name of the new... Well, I mean, it does make sense considering... The fact that it just reappeared recently. Alright, but let's head out to Broken Tooth Island. Here we are on Broken Tooth. Wow, look at all those details! Oh, Snorp Dog, we made it to the other island. We found some kind of reef cove thing to land oh, on. Beautiful. Chandlo, listen to me, it's very important. You need to understand that remote Wait, detonation. What? Snorpy! Oh grump, the radio's broken! Darn, wonder what could have happened. We're just out of range. Oh some interference going on. Here why? Oh, unfortunate. I suppose we will have to proceed without Snorpington's so-called supervision. But maybe we should go back and tell him? Well, I oh, mean the threshold is crossed. It cannot be uncrossed. Right. And if you think I'm spending another minute on that plank of wood today, <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. you're always right, Sheldon. Sheldon's being like, you heck no, am I this. spending any more you time on that? Exploring. Or so help me. Looks like there's a way across up there. Let's check it out, bro. <laughs> All right. Hmm. I think we're gonna need that. But I do want to talk to everyone first. Hmm. These coral structures hey, are the animal species I've witnessed anywhere near the Snacktooth biosphere. Intriguing. Despite one's years, there ever remains a sense of humbling beauty where sand meets sea, and not a toxin in sight. Despite one's years, there ever remains a sense of hum. Definitely very beautiful. Who said Trifony this island and I'm already seeing evidence of ancient Grumpus technology? Oh, this trip is definitely gonna be worth it. Yeah. Definitely. But man, look at the view. You can see the Shimmering Springs and even the Frosted Peak from here. That is so cool. That is so cool, just how large Snack Tooth looks from just the view. Because Young Horse Games, if you are out there listening to this, thank you for how much like time you put into this. I bet Snorpy's Aha! Alright, right, because it conducts ice and fire. Nice! Last one across is a rotten Nagler! Not me! All right. Well, would you look at that? Some kind of ancient maze carving. Wow. Parts and everything. Well, so cool. We'll it, put it directly in our way. Chandler, you excel in. No, 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 no. Destroy this. You got it, Floof Dog. Call oh. me Floof Dog again and see what happens. Wow. Now, hold on, hold on there. Let's not go smashing the priceless antiques. Right, because if anything, I can solve like it. You could fit your buggy ball down there in the entrance. I bet if we solve this maze, something real interesting is gonna happen. <laughs> and get sprout out. Hmm. Come on, Sprout. Right. Goodness. And there we go. Mechanism still works after all this time. Not to mention the water damage. 
If that's just the right, door, who knows what historical goodies we'll find inside there? The amazed complete. But man, I'm really liking the new DLC so far. Just with how much it really shows that what Young Horse Games was putting in that wasn't in the main game itself. Because I really hope that they take page from Bug Snacks and the Isle of Big Snacks for the sequel. Oh, wow! Whoa, that is beautiful. Out there. Oh, goodness. To think that this whole valley was underwater not that long ago. I can even see evidence of civilization from who knows when. Oh, check oh out wow. That impressive looking temple. It up definitely there. is very impressive. One is more concerned with the ominous crater that lies beneath. Right, because if anything, we all know Sheldon's wary of bug I'm snacks. So new varieties of bug snacks as well. New bug snacks? Sick! Think they could be dangerous? Definitely. An easy well, I mean, if out. it's bunkers well, or whatnot, or something that can ram into it, I'd ourselves. say technically yes. Set up a base camp. A right. Idea. One could use time to ah, recenter. Five minutes in, and you already need a nap. Leave the oh, come on, Luffy. Society, then. If anything, oh, Shelter just needs a break after a long walk. Again. Check this what out. is it? Oh! Oh! Excellent. Why don't the you new bunger? Chenlo. Way ahead of you, dog. <laughs> oh my god! I, you better go follow. I just love how he just flew down and it's like. Oh. All right. So this is where we're gonna be setting up staff. All right. And talk if to everyone. What Shelda has to say is so monumentally important. Then why does she waste time making her speech so farcically obtuse? Oh, well, it's Going just she just wants people to be able to listen to her. The hard part is well, I understand what's no like when I understand what's like trying to get people to listen to you. Gosh, from the moment they met, Floofy and Shelda sure have hated each other. As I recall, Shelda said. Greetings, child. Oh, I whooped, he said. It is unlikely. Okay, I just love those impressions right there. I am not your child. And things kind of escalated from there. That, that is, that is good. How they put that in. One wonders at every second what revelation this accursed land could possibly contain that would be worth suffering a mere ten minutes with Floofty. I Not don't a know. Thing, that's what. But, alright. So, let's head down. Oh! Little path right there. Oh, it's Wait, the big bunger! Is it just me? Or is that bunger? Oh, oh no! Channel moved! Oh! 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 Right. But, if anything, my regular tricks and traps aren't gonna work on this big bug snack. We're gonna have to find something else to be able to catch him with. Because if. I'm going from what. Oh, that! Janlo? Ow! Oh! My muscles and my bones! Are you alright? Where am I? I hit some kind of. statue room? Looks like she's holding a thing. I don't know what that is. But try throwing it at the big bunger. Maybe that'll do something. Right. Whoa. Oh, it got tiny. Hey, no, no. Come here. Come here. Come here. There we go. Bunger Royale. So, so adorable. 
All right. <laughs> I just love what he did right there. I got hunger. Yeah. Hunger me, bro. Oh my god, and it's so funny considering I'm gonna be making hamburgers tonight. All right. Feed the bunga right now. All right. Bro. Oh. <laughs> I accidentally hit my drawing tablet. Sorry, you guys. That's a whole meal in one bite. Really? Gotta tell the others about this. Plus, I should probably help unpack. All right, let's head back to the others. That? Giant bug snacks. Right. And the bungers out here are as big as Mama Melon. Gosh, we might be witnessing a prehistoric species somehow preserved at the bottom of the ocean. Aha! Uh -huh. That would align with my theory on the correlation between age and size. The lost sister of Snacktooth lies unburied. Yet you marvel at the engorgement of the toxins that dance on her grave. The lost what, now? Tell me, Chenlo, how did you come to capture this specimen? We found a jar of some kind of small dust. Right, or shrink spice to be old lady back. statue thing. A statue, eh? Well, does, it does sound better. Like a big friendly grumpus lady with flowers all around her. Huh? No. That sounds what like is it, it Shelda? To Mother Nature, eh? Whoa, Shelda, that's your thing. No, 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 no. Uh, What's wrong? Why would Mother Nature, no to despiser of bug snacks, be dispensing bug snack catching equipment? Right, because mm -hmm. it Shelda, doesn't make your sense. Your god is a hypocrite. Well, she, Silence, you she doesn't wretch. know. She the doesn't know. Guides, the mother protects. If you so doubt, then one will wield the light of truth against your blasphemy. Okay, then. I guess Shelda's gonna go check out those shrines. Uh, meanwhile, I gotta go take a look at all the ruins around here. There's so much ancient history to uncover. I'm giddy just thinking about it. I am fascinated by this shrink spice and its effects on snack matter. If I can determine exactly what it's made of, I'm certain we will have much use for it. All right, bros. I know I'm not a scientist, but I got a hypothesis. What is if it? This island can make big bunger. Can it make big chandlo? That's not what But if is. anything, we all Honestly, know that bug snacks you know. can make. Oh, no. I'm sure it's worth a try. Well then, let's get to it. Definitely seems impossible. All right, new assignment: island time. Help Tiffany investigate. Help investigate, and then come on, investigate and help Shelda investigate. All right. So let's talk to everyone individually. So what did you want to investigate? You're here. I'd say it's high time we get to exploring. I see another maze blocking the way deeper into the jungle. I bet if we solve it, we'll find something real exciting. Yeah. I'll go ahead and make my way over to the maze. Meet me there when you're ready for some puzzling. <laughs> All right. And new Simon past tense. And what did you want to investigate? Oh, <laughs> sorry, I accidentally hit my drawing table again. Snacks. <laughs> From what I observed, it was manufactured by ancient crumpuses, so surely it'll be simple to recreate. They seem pretty advanced, actually. Ancient crumpus to the present, and they'd be utterly lost. Anything they can do, I can do fundamentally better. You sure, Floofy? Qualities aside, I require a sample of shrink spice for study. Bring a specimen here and place it into my trough. All right, so, but we gotta remember it's on a time limit. All right, what did you want to investigate, Chandlo? I gotta see if eating these big bug snacks will make me big Chandlo. I saw okay. this huge snack lifting stuff near the river. Big lifting. Lift. You know I gotta huh. give me some of that. I wonder what it could be. Ah, oh, Shelda, and I see she brought her box with her. One must see what lies within those supposed shrines to Mother Nature. Not shrines destroyed and forgotten, but one untouched by the ravages of time. One can see it up along the river's path. 
That is the place we must meet. All right. The shrine is beyond Wan's reach. Yet again, you must remove an obstacle that shrouds the path. All right. Hmm. Ah. Yeah. So, if anything first, before we start doing stuff, let me get more of the shrink, guys. Right, I'm way back. Put it in their trough. Well, uh, well, we technically brought the powder. The substance becomes quite volatile when removed from its origin. A flaw in its design, perhaps. Right, but some. maybe something we may else. Need to employ a more direct method of study. By which I mean, bring another sample uh, here and throw it Are you sure combusts. that's safe? I am wearing goggles, aren't I? <laughs> Since the spice causes no apparent Oh, I thought those night, are glasses. I'm reasonably certain that I will be fine. Okay. If you say so. All right. There one. Oh my god, I'm gonna feel really bad if something. Oofty. All right, Floopsy, here it is. Ah, oh, the goggles, they do nothing. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God, are you okay? If you couldn't tell, <laughs> that was rather unpleasant. <laughs> oh, my God, I can only imagine how much things well, like in soap in your eyes. That, I have learned two very important facts. One, the substance does not work on grumpuses. Right. Two, I should not do that again. Right. I am no closer to obtaining a usable sample of shrink spice. However, I believe we may learn something from the local bug snacks. All right. Use the shrink spice to capture one cheddar and one millimochi. Cheddar and then transform me with those specimens. All right. All right, new assignment, power keg, part two. This is as far as I can go. I wonder if there's a way to get. Well, I see wall. there's a way to put spam in the wall. All right, go and sprout. Oh! Whoa! That was a. That must be a shadow orb. In all my years of archaeology, that was my first run-in with a giant rolling ball. Really? So, anything like you okay. by the way, the island looks got ya.
Alright, come on, Sprout. If anything, the effects look like they're gonna last for a little bit. Oh, darn. Before. They're so adorable. Admire just how cute they are. Right? And just I think it those Millie Mochi. Got him. Aww. Cute. Oh. <laughs> Didn't mean to set myself on fire. Okay, 
Alright, then bring out the trout. Wait a minute. Cry, I don't have any chocolate on me. Hmm. Better remember to load up on chocolate. Because if anything, it would make things a little bit easier. myself on fire again. And I'm gonna have to look around for some chocolate. If I can freeze it, then that would definitely one step further to catching it. Alright, giant egg or shell. An eggshell far too big to carry and tough enough to protect from other bug snacks. Danlo. Whoa, when did Agabelle get here? That is an Agabelle. Oh, Takata Masala. Patrols the area around its nest. Keep a look out for eggler shells. Wait, what else is that? Oh, hey. Pushy. Alright, this fire. Seems fire is so hot that will ignite the very air with its lungs. Well, that, or I have heartburn. Okay, that is good. Eggler. Eggers with wings and aggressive. Once hatched, they're a bit runny. You have to poach them before they're scrambled. Right. I if there are any more around. Right. Phew. Kinda nice to be away it's from Lucy. the others for a minute. Triffany. The arguing can be yeah. yeah. I understand. Trouble with Oh well, I think Sheldon's Zelda? got a lot to teach us. It's just exhausting to get a real answer out of her. Then she can be a tad judgmental. Gosh, I don't know. Okay. I feel like I ought to be taking more of a leadership role out here. But I do all my best. Yeah, I know, but alone. sometimes it's gotta be able to <laughs> work out your stuff. All that unpleasantness when we could be neck deep in some dusty corpses. <laughs> the maze is right there. And but I'm excited to see how this is all gonna turn out, just with that how everything's going. Ooh, that be I'm trying to think of the name for it, but a chocolate. What I'm thinking. Right. Got ya. Come here, Sprout. Got it. Clean the maze. Ooh, we hit the archaeological yep. jackpot. Ooh. Definitely. Ooh. 
Let's go inside, scan huh? around, and see just what kind of ruin this is. <laughs> all right, hang on, you guys. Give me a minute. I'll be right back. All right, sorry about all that. The beasties were getting a little bit riled up. But all right, so I think this is a good place to end this video. And in the next part, we're going to be continuing our exploration of the Isle of Big Snacks. But if we can get up to 15 likes on this video, I will be getting the next part done as soon as I can for all you guys out there. And possibly uploading it right after this video comes out. But alright, so before I end this video, I want to give a huge to my patrons and YouTube members for donating money to the channel. All you guys out there can donate money to the channel too as well, just head over to the page in the YouTube membership link in the description below and donate money if you can. All donations will go into helping more awesome videos just like this here on the channel for all you guys out there to enjoy. Alright. So, like always, if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button, smash the subscribe button for more awesome content. Just like this, and make sure to click that notification bell down below for my latest videos and updates. And make sure to head into Patreon to help support my college classes and help support the channel. But yeah, I'm Princess Swordheart the Gamer Queen, and I'm signing off. Bye!